here's my wedding look guys if you want to see my makeup and how I got ready just keep on watching I hope you guys enjoy I know I had a lot of fun making this video don't forget to like and subscribe I'm just using my spa treatment here and putting that all over my acne look at me rocking out you can see cuddles in the background Lola was on my lap this entire film this filming strip I am now using my Nivea moisturizer this is for sensitive skin i have been loving this this is my second tube i've now repurchased it it's only 777 at walmart it's a really nice light moisturizer for the day then i am grabbing my Too faced shadow insurance and i'm putting that all over my lids well cuddles cleans herself <laughs> apparently the dogs wanted to help me then I'm grabbing my Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm grabbing the shade Coconut Cream and I'm putting that from the base of my lid right up to my brow bone on both of my eyeballs, obviously. We want to keep it symmetrical. I'm getting in there with the Real Techniques brush. I love the Real Techniques brushes, guys. Like They are my holy grail. I use them all the time. Can't imagine my life without them. Then I'm taking this ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade I Heart This. A little bit blurry there, didn't focus, but that's okay. And I'm taking a Sephora brush. This is just a shader brush. And I am putting this all over my lid, just adding a bit of a glitter. We're going to go back in with this later, but I just wanted to give myself some guidelines here. And these are the brushes that Sammy sent me for Christmas. Shout out to Sammy. I love this brush. And this ColourPop shadows you can also use with your fingers. Um, I just don't like a heavy application of them where they are a cream shadow. And since I'm using powder shadows as well, best to use a light hand. Then we're grabbing the Semi Sweet palette again and grabbing the shade Rum Raisin. I'm using a brush I got from Ipsy. And we're just popping that in the crease kind of heavily because we're going to buff this out now after. Don't worry about it. And I'm also dragging it into my outer corner. So yay for that. Um, I do like this shade a lot. This is also a nice all over lid color if you're looking for a dark or kind of sexier look. I used it this week for fun to go to work and I really liked it. Then I'm grabbing a crown brush and grabbing the shade Mousse. I think it is. This is a matte shade and I'm just popping this in the outer corner and working it up into my crease. I like the way all of these shadows look blended together beautifully in the crease which is why I keep doing that. Um, I've been using this palette forever here lately ever since I got it but it's been frequent. Then I'm grabbing the shade Frosting and popping that in the outer corner. This has a little bit of a gold shimmer to it and this just really gives your eyelids some definition I'm right into it there with another real techniques brush surprise surprise just giving her <clears throat> then i'm grabbing another real techniques brush and i am popping the shade bon bon into my crease this is a beautiful like burnt orange copper color i love it i think it really opens up your face and i'm just digging right in apparently then I am blending it all out with a nice fluffy brush. This one's from Sephora. Again, this is from the kit Sam gave me. Then I'm taking the shade Butter Pecan and just putting that in under my brow bone just to highlight it and to tighten up any lines that may be there. Then we're grabbing the ColourPop shadow again and I heart this and we are giving ourselves a heck of a lot more glitter on our lids now that we, uh, we have our darker shades popped on there. I bring this right down into the inner tear duct, as you can see, just to brighten up the eye. And I am going out, so it is totally worth it to glam up the glitter, if you will. These are beautiful shadows because I recommend trying them out if you haven't. Then we're going to grab the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pressed Powder and Prime Our Face. I love this stuff, you guys. It really does minimize your pores and it's very light white. You can use this under your makeup and on top of your makeup. One of my favorite purchases. Then I'm grabbing the um, Physicians Formula Youthful Wear Under Eye Concealer. I'm using the yellow side just to correct any redness and um, this really does make your bags under your eyes look a little less prominent. It's got a metal applicator so the coldness really helps minimize your bags. Blending that in with my finger and then we are going to grab some Life Brand Concealer and just put this on our acne spots. This is a light colored concealer but it has salicylic acid in it. Then I'm going to grab my Dampened Beauty Blender and buff all that into the skin. Moving on to foundation, we're going to grab the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I like this stuff. This is great if you're looking to wear makeup for a long period of time, which I am. So we're putting a little bit on our hand. We are going to apply a very thin coat of this all over our face. Um, I do think the shade's a little bit dark for me, but that's okay because I am using um, a powder that will lighten it up 
later, which is why I am putting on a thin, thin coat as well. And we're doing this in sections and just buffing it into our skin with a dampened beauty blender. This foundation is beautiful considering it is a drugstore foundation. And just keep going. I was singing here, you guys. I have detached the audio from this and doing a voiceover because I was rocking out. I think I was rocking out to my Alan Doyle playlist, so it's just a mix of Boy on Bridge and So Let's Go. But I am taking a Real Techniques foundation brush and just distributing this foundation all over my face. I love my Beauty Blender, guys. Like, it's the best thing ever. I've tried many dupes and no nothing tops the actual Beauty Blender. Hashtag magical. Let me know in the comments down below if you like um, the way this is set up. Like, the actual setup is insane. Took a quick break just to show you Boo. She was in for a snuggle. She wasn't letting go, but she says hi. I woke her up from her nap. She stayed here the entire video. I have so much foundation on my hand, guys. I'm sorry. But, like, it was wickedly cute. Now we're grabbing that Physicians Formula concealer again, and we are actually grabbing the concealer side, and we are concealing under our eyes. Again, this is dark. The Physicians Formula range is not a, um, I guess, wide range of color, but I am buffing that in with a um, Beauty Blender. I am going to go back in with a lighter concealer to highlight. I am grabbing my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous, but before I do that, I grab the Maybelline Fit Me just to cover up any redness around my nose and my acne spots. Then I'm taking my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. This is a light concealer, and I use it to highlight under my eyes once I have concealed them. So I'm just getting right in there. I'm running low on this, but I do like it. So I'm grabbing a Beauty Blender, and I am just buffing that into my skin. Go, 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 go. I sped this up because I didn't want to be here forever, friends. Sorry. So we're just buffing it in, concealing all the redness and all the icky stuff that we know likey. Then I'm grabbing my Urban Decay Setting Spray. This is the D-Slick, and I'm just setting all of the liquid products on my face. And I'm like, whoa, that's cold. Then <clears throat> I'm grabbing my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. This is the black one, and I'm just tight lining my eyes. But first I had to clean that foundation off, doing a little jig and just tight lining. We are going to do a winged eyeliner look today, and I'm quite pleased that I did this. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Cuddles just heard something. This is my NYC liquid liner. This is like $1.99 at the drugstore, guys. This is wicked eyeliner. Um, and we're just getting in there. I tried my best to show you what I was doing to the best of my abilities. I'm not good at doing eyeliner on camera. And look at that look. I'm like, whoa, this is hard. This took a bit longer than I intended, but I do hope you like it. I don't wing out my eyeliner very often, but I just thought, hey, why not? It's Saturday, and I'm going to a fun event tonight, and it's going to be fun. So I'm singing away to you guys. Too bad you can't hear it. It's probably terrible. This eyeliner was a little bit hard to work with because I'm almost out of it, but I was determined to get a good wing out of it. So here we go. Cuddles has given up on me in the background. This is really hard, having Lola on my lap as well, but I didn't want to move her. She was so content, and I'm trying to be a good mommy. Then I'm grabbing my Benefit Roller Lash. That's upside down. And I'm, put, I'm kissing my child and loving her and putting a generous amount of mascara on my lids. Lashes, not my lids. The lashes are attached to the lids, folks, in case you were wondering. I don't like false lashes, so I really like this mascara. You can build it up, and we are going to layer it, of course, because that seems to be my thing. Do you guys make funny faces when you do your makeup? Now I'm grabbing the Rimmel Wonder Lash. This has argan oil in it, and I am generously coating that on my lashes as well. I'm just singing away, like I'm so content. I did do my nails last night as well. I'll tell you the colors now in a minute. 
set our under eyes. This is the e.l.f. Um, HD setting powder. Then I'm grabbing my Rimmel Say Matte. This is in the shade 003 Natural and I'm just buffing this into my skin. Now I'm grabbing my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Milk Chocolate. I'm singing into my sculpting brush. This is by Real Techniques and it is limited edition. Well I got in the limited edition collection. Next up is my blush and this is from Benefit Cosmetics. This is Rocketeur and I'm using a Real Techniques blush brush. These brushes are to die for. Then we're going to grab a highlighter and this is Max Soft and Gentle and I'm grabbing the limited edition fan brush from Real Techniques. This brush is gorgeous guys and I'm just heavily applying highlighter because I want to be all glowy tonight. Completely lost in what I'm doing, singing a song. Now I'm putting more roller lash on my lower lash line. And I'm going to fill in my brows. I used a few products for this. I used the Wet n Wild Color Icon Pencil. Then I grabbed my Urban Decay Shadow Box. Um, I used the wax and the darkest shade in here. And I didn't film all of it because I really didn't think y'all needed to see it. And then I grabbed my Hard Candy Brows Now and used the gel just to set the fibers in place. I'm laughing at Cuddles because she is snoring away in the background. And I'm just sticking all those brow hairs right down. And then I'm taking the shimmer stick in this product and highlighting again under my brow bone. Then we are going to go ahead and grab the Urban Decay D-Slick Setting Spray and spritz our faces one more time to make sure our makeup stays and locked all night. And then that's pretty much it, you guys. So now we're just going to move into the awkward posing while I'm singing and dancing for you guys. Um, but I have, of course, had to have a sippy sippy of the coffee waffy. And here we go. This is the finished look. I was um, very pleased with how this turned out, and I hope you guys liked it. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I intend on doing a lot more tutorials. So here we go. Say bye to Lola. We love you.